Layers, layers, layers. My travelers, I mean, still to the leak on. This is what I'm wearing to Shanghai Disneyland in the middle of winter. Starting off with my base layer. This is my Merino singlet from Icebreaker. I have got a video on that. It'll be linked in the description box below. And my Mons Royale Merino leggings. Can you tell I'm a Kiwi who loves Merino wool? Yes. I also have Mac Pack socks, which I did buy new here. And this is actually my first time wearing them. But they're like proper tramping socks. I'm hoping my feet will stay warm the whole day. I did have wool inserts in my shoe that I was trying out yesterday. I'm just wearing sneakers. I think the weather today is not going to be too, too bad. And you can see it is sunny, so it's promising. Okay, it says it's minus three right now. That's not great. And it feels like minus seven. Oh, right, and the high is going to be five. I'm staying here at the Holiday Inn Express near the park because they've got a shuttle free shuttle that goes and it goes in about 15 minutes so if you need to quickly keep some clothes on i just went down for breakfast awful <laughs> definitely for the local market okay so this is a mac pack thermal so you don't really need to wear another merino singlet under a thermal but i'm going to this i also bought this here it was super cheap and it's clearly a like old stock but it's actually got like a really nice almost fleece lining inside okay so i've got leggings on which i would and do wear just as is normally but today i'm going to put them under my jeans oh gosh okay maybe this wasn't a good idea because it's winter fleece is a great plan for this kind of weather as well. I did order one on Taobao. I use Bao Pals, the English version, which I also have linked in the description box below, and you can order to lots of countries around the world, UK, North America, Europe, Australia, and get these quite cheap products. I, you could get this, I think it was like three, maybe not even three US dollars. Then I've got my cashmere turtleneck. This is from Lily Silk. I've also done a review on this. It's still going strong. Now I'm starting to sweat in here, so I won't put any more on just in the meantime. After this, I'm going to put on my, it's a long cardigan. It is 42% wool and 10% camel, so it hangs down lower than my jacket. Honestly, I don't care. Then I've got my goose down jacket from Kathmandu. I've worn this skeg. You know, when you're not moving, ugh, you get cold. And if you're not in the sun, that also does help as, not help as well. So, then I've got my scarf, which is just, this is not a great scarf, but I bought it from H&M a couple of years ago, pre-COVID actually, just on COVID, <laughs> and it folds out quite large, like this is half the size of it, so I'm thinking when I get colder, even though I'm going to start the day off like this, as, as I get colder, then I'll just take my jacket off and open it up a bit more and it will go quite low on me and be like a blanket as it were it's just another layer but this is not this is the least useful layer that i've got it's more just to cover me up when that wind because it's the biting cold wind here in shanghai that i'm like oh i unfortunately only have my gloves from home i did order some other gloves they haven't arrived yet either Urgh. i've got two beanies one of them's merino. <laughs> I'm sure I've shoved my pockets full. But yeah, one my merino one and then just my regular other icebreaker one. I also have in my jacket pocket a power bank because you tend to use the app. All payments here are on your phone. My phone doesn't have the greatest battery, but I think even if I had a brand new one, I would still bring this. I know you can get smaller ones. This is just the one out of my away luggage. I am taking my, so it's gloves, hat, and then, oh, also, I must say this hood is actually quite good in the wind when I've got it on, if I'm not walking into the wind where it might poof off. In terms of my handbag, I'm going to have this um, diagonally under my jacket. Actually not, I'm just going to have it normally on arrival because you have to go through a security. Ugh. Then I'm going to have to take my jacket off and then put it in because with the jacket, I could literally have it up here and zip it closed and then it's all contained within me. I have my cord for my phone, passport of course, spare battery, 
hair tie, lip balm. I'm taking my mask. I think it also is a good idea against the wind. I am gonna take my water bottle because you can take that into the park. I don't actually know how I'm gonna carry this right now. That is actually one thing. Because there are refill stations throughout the park, oh, I might just flag it and just buy it there. Whilst I wouldn't normally have that attitude with other theme parks, some of the prices at Disneyland in Shanghai at least aren't too terrible like yes of course they're more but they're not it's not obscenely different like at upper theme park I am looking forward to going on all the rides today that is literally my plan and just get in a lot of walk they're all things that I've bought from home so nothing out of the ordinary in terms of my closet I don't really like the grey on grey but it's going to be under a jacket so no Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll see you at the park.